everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to move on from the let uh, keyword that we saw in the previous video, and we're going to look at the constant keyword in this video. Now, just so you know, the const keyword is short for constant, and it means essentially what it says. When you actually set a value to a constant, it remains constant for the duration of the life cycle of the variable, essentially. Uh, so just like let, constants are block scoped. So as long as it's within that same scope, you can't change the value of the constant. In fact, you can never change the value of the constant once it's set. That's the difference between let and constants. There's a couple other little differences, so I'll explain what those are now. But just to jump over to the code for a moment, just to give you an idea that constants can only be set once, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a const, like so, and I'll go a const equals one, all right? And I'm just going to console.log this out, a const, whoops, spell it right. Now if I jump over, you'll just see it spits out one. But if I come in here and then I try to go a const is equal to two, and I was trying to initialize it to something else, this is a constant, so this should not be allowed to happen. So run the code, and as you can see, assignment to constant variable. So it's basically saying that we can't do it twice. All right, so that's the first thing you need to know about between constants and the let keyword. Now, the other thing you might want to know about is if I create a function, I'm going to put te test const. Constants work at a scope level. So inside of here, I can also have a const called a const, and this can be set to, I don't know, five. All right, and I can console.log this out, like so. And then if I call this function, because it's in the scope of the function, and this will be allowed to happen. So if I go test const, oops, like so, I'll run this again, you'll see one and five are both exposed. So you can actually do this kind of thing. You can actually have a constant outside of scope or in the global scope, and then you can create a local scoped version of it. And then obviously, again, we can do things like create a block in here and go const block scope or blocked const equals, we'll say Daryl. And I can console.log it out at this point, all right? And this will still work just like the let. Oh, did I do something wrong? Oh, I named it wrong. My bad, put the screen and run again. And you'll see the word Daryl comes out, okay, inside of this block. Now, just similar to the let, I can't come out here and go console.log block const. This will crash because it doesn't know what that variable is because it's inside the scope of this block here. So just to show you that it is the same as a let, and there's the crash, all right? So we can't do that. That's the same as any let function. However, what we can do, strangely enough, is this a const here, which is set to five, if we go inside of another block, we can do the same thing we have here, right? And you're like, well, you're just doing what you did before. However, because it's inside of a code block, we don't have to have it even be a constant. We can go let a const equals five. Right? And because this lives inside this code block, doesn't live outside of it. So I can make this a let, right? Because this let does not refer to anything outside of here. So, and then once again, I can console.log this out. All right? And that's also going to put out five. All right? So, so far, so good. Very much similar to let. The only difference is that once I initialize a constant, I can't change it, right? That's the major difference. But with a constant, we can also redefine it inside of a block with the let command. The one thing we can't do, which it will make sense to you in a minute once I mention it, is I can't use a var. 
like so, right? And the reason why I can't use a var is because variables, if I said the var keyword, I said in the previous video, is scoped to the function, right? So it's detected up here, this constant. And so therefore it's saying, oh no, you've already got a variable in this function that's called a constant, and it's been defined as a constant. So we can't redefine it or redeclare it in this stage. So that's the compiler of Visual, Visual Studio Code has picked that up as an error, right? But also if I was to run it, you will see the same issue. So if I run this now, identify const has already been declared, right? So you can do it with lets, but you can't do it with vars. And that's pretty much it. So basically we use constants in situations where we're not going to change the value of it once we've set it, so that we can reuse it in our application. Um, that's essentially what they're used for. But here's the rules that govern how it lives. It lives very similar to let, you know, in terms of it has block scope, not function scope or global scope. You know, it, it's literally to each block. So this is a global scoped uh, constant, which means it's available to everything unless you overwrite inside of something smaller. This is a function level constant. This is a block level constant and so on and so forth. All right. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. In the next video, we're gonna start looking at some shorthands for functions in terms of how we can actually simplify calling functions in ECMAScript 6. And that's known as the arrow function. So I'll see you in the next video.